Are you really in control of the decisions you're making? This week's business book recommendation is for Predictably Irrational by Dan Ariely. This book is about behavioural science. It explores several different interesting questions about the way we behave. How what we do is predictable, but not in the way you might think. The author looks at why we make the decisions we make, from why we lie, why we choose one thing over another, why we get what we expect, and why keeping doors open might be a bad idea. So what did I learn? Well, the book is a series of explanations about why we make decisions in a certain way, all backed by interesting uh, experiments. You'll learn an array of different things about how we make decisions, such as, did you know that asking people to recall as many of the Ten Commandments as they can makes them subsequently more honest? Or that there's a big distinction for all of us between market norms, fair value exchange for goods and services, and social norms, bringing a bottle of wine to a dinner party. But if we try to move from one to the other, or try to merge the two, people get very upset. Offer to pay for a dinner party your mother-in-law just threw is a disaster. And more interestingly, if a company wants you to think of them as family, social norms, but then you charge them late fees and break the norms, you can do a lot more damage. What did it make me think differently about? Options. One of the chapters talks about the human desire to leave doors open. During a series of experiments, the author proves that even if it's to our detriment, we opt to keep options open. But when it comes to making decisions, we're much more effective if there's less choice. I'm doing this, I'm leaving lots of doors open just in case, and it's slowing me down. It's made me think, am I causing myself more damage by keeping my options open? What actions did I take? Well, I'm picking a door to walk through and walking through it is one clear action I've taken. I've also been reminded that some of the decisions you make simply because you've made them before. The example he uses is Starbucks. The first time you go, coffee is astronomically expensive, but once you've decided to go, you then remake that decision over and over again, thinking it's free will. I'm reassessing my free will. Are the decisions you're making on autopilot that perhaps should be changed? What's the impact been? Well, better decisions and movement forward, but the real value in this book is how interesting it is. It makes you realise just how human you are and why you don't always act in your own self-interest. This was a reread of this book. I first read it many moons ago. It's as interesting now as it was then. Highly recommended to anyone fascinated by decision theory and behavioural economics. A very readable book, which explores a lot of interesting questions. Have a wonderful day.